DMI Africa Mission Key Achievements 2017 Loving God in serving the poor to be fully human and fully alive is a driving force in inspiring us and nudging us to bring holistic development and helping the helpless communities in five African countries namely Tanzania, South Sudan, Malawi, Zambia and Central African Republic. We the DMI Africa Mission team is delighted to present 2017 development program key achievements and its outcome. Our efforts have brought lasting changes in the lives of the target community. South Sudan Country Program Achievements 2017 Relief, Rehabilitation and Reintegration Program Since last four years, we have been implementing various programs in UN camps in addressing the immediate needs of internally displaced families and war victims. Through preschool and formal education program meeting the educational needs of 900 children and appointed professional teachers to take classes as per the state syllabus. Provi Overall medical support program helped 1420 victims in monthly basis to regain health and improve their immune system. Nutritious food helped 910 target beneficiaries. Malnourished children, infants, school children, pregnant and lactating mothers to improve their immune system and cherish good health. Through counseling process, helped out 544 needy women, men and young girls to come out from the state of trauma and increase their trust level. Peace and reconciliation are prerequisites to initializing long-term development program. Through consistent engagement, formed 25 peace and reconciliation committees in UN camps and in the source area of Juba and Wau. Food Security Program To address the growing food insecurity issue, we have initiated sustainable agriculture at few clusters and reaching out to 7,800 farmers in Juba and Wav regions of South Sudan. Formed 48 farmers associations and enrolled 2,519 members in the association in Wav and Juba regions. The farmers associations provide them with diverse service that include access to information and training. Farmers Association play a key role in implementing and monitoring the food security program. Farmers Association negotiated with village chiefs and obtained 1,098 acres of land for cultivation. During this year, the agriculture yield has increased to 100%. The food security program has helped the people to see rays of hope in their lives. For most needy, 11,200 families distributed tools and seeds and introduced tractor to prepare the land. As a result of seeds, tools and tractor, 450 acres of land was brought under cultivation. Community Schooling We have initiated community schools at 12 remote locations and bushes. Through our community schools, we visualize to provide primary education for all children in the project catchment areas. Constructed teacher training center and currently 25 trainees are undergoing crash course. Through a consultative process, we have evolved curriculum for teacher training. By January 2018, we would place the trained teachers in the community schools and thereby enhance the quality of teaching and improve the learning environment. Sensitizing and preventing gender-based violence, 22 awareness campaigns, cultural program and community meetings was organized 
in the selected 10 locations, benefiting 12,800 women and community actively engaged on gender-based violence issues. Women Development Program We have 289 self-help groups in Wav and Juba regions, reaching out to 5,700 women members, initiated the process of forming village and payam level federations. 432 women availed microcredit loan and internal lending to initiate entrepreneurship and their household income has increased. Provided periodical training on leadership, savings, bookkeeping, women's rights, livelihood promotion and conflict management to 3,234 women members. 1,323 families have come out from poverty and able to meet their basic survival, health and educational needs. Tanzania Country Program Achievement 2017 Rehabilitation Program Institutional Support Expanded the program by enrolling more trafficked victims in the rehabilitation and now 70 of them are availing long-term rehabilitation services. Introduced drop-in center program during this year and has helped in reaching out most vulnerable and early 60 girls are rescued, screened and enrolled into the long-term rehabilitation services. Life skill training and counseling has enhanced confidence of 60 girls and prepared them adequately for reintegration to lead a dignified life. Occasional skill training on tailoring, computer, beautician and additionally new skill catering introduced during this year facilitated reintegration and earn decent income. Alumni Association facilitated to share their ideas, seek mutual support, find better employable opportunity and ensure nexus and protection among the reunified. Community Outreach Program Periodical trainings and meetings were organized for 10 cell leaders, village leaders and other stakeholders in order to take necessary steps to prevent and reduce human trafficking. Thematic public awareness programs performed in 10 rural and 2 urban pockets reached out to 9,690 members and generated public awareness and promoted proactive participation. Mobile skill training reached out urban needy youths through WINGS mobile skill training program and provided occasional skill training for 120 vulnerable youths on beautician and computer. 75 trained youths have been employed and able to earn decent income by marketing the acquired skills and now they lead decent life. Mobile skill training program provided platform to form youth club and prevented them from various exploitation. Combating HIV AIDS Social Care Program 200 adults and children living with HIV AIDS are reaching out through DMI support services. They are given counseling, nutritious food packages and medical assistance. Social Care Program for HIV AIDS infected enhance the social, psychological and physical well-being and reduced social stigma. Sensitize target community on HIV AIDS, mode of transmission and established linkage with government to avail antiretroviral therapy. Women Development Program We are standing beside poor women to help them develop a sense of hope and self-reliance by promoting grassroots-based organizations and formed 185 self-help groups having 4,765 women. Federated self-help groups under 12 village and 5 district level federations that enabled them to exercise their democratic leadership 
and strengthen their ongoing monitoring. 512 women availed microcredit loan and commenced micro business activities that resulted in increasing the household income. Children Development Programs Promoted 34 children parliaments consisting of 1,412 children. Created platform for them to enhance their leadership, participation and in addressing educational issues. Children parliaments, members and leaders were capacitated by periodical trainings and meetings. Ensured primary education at 20 villages with the participation of village education committees. Mainstream 682 child laborers into formal schooling and initiated steps to address the quality of education in the selected government schools. Our entry to Central African Republic. Central African Republic, church leaders and government officials recognized our mission work in other African countries and that prompted them to invite us. Based on the invitation from the Cardinal and government, we initiated the process of commencing our mission in Central African Republic. After our preliminary need assessment and initial meetings with church leaders, country president, government officials and like-minded organizations helped us to understand our intervention needs. Central African Republic, First Lady and government officials visited India to understand, learn our work and explore the possibility for future collaboration. Church has given us St. Joseph Mukasa Mission Area to commence development and pastoral work in reaching out to 25 villages. Dear my sisters have just completed language courses and their language proficiency could be enhanced and they interact with the target committees. Government has promised to allow 1000 acres of land for missionary and development purpose. Key findings of our need assessment. Shocking to note that only 18% of children complete primary education in target areas and rights of children are grossly violated. Due to war, many houses were demolished in the rural areas. Outskirts of Bengui town are forced to evict. Semi-starvation and subsistence farming practices immensely affect food security of vulnerable communities. Unemployment and lack of employable skill among young boys pushes them to join in rebel groups and peaceful coexistence is disturbed. Women are pushed to carry the entire burden of family due to prolonged conflicts and in fights. Practice of polygamy further subjugate women and deprive them of socio and economical development. African Mission Special Program Highlights International Day of African Child In Tanzania, Zambia and South Sudan commemorated African Child Day in the month of July 2017. 6,000 children from our children's parliament were mobilized and their proactive participation encouraged all. The event generated new energy and unity among children. International Women's Day International Women's Day was observed in Tanzania, Zambia, Malawi and South Sudan. 7,123 women members from DMI Women's World participated and sensitized general public on rights of women. The event also enhanced unity and solidarity among themselves. Africa Mission Documentation Process E-Magazine Monthly E-Magazine named Spring of Peace for South Sudan and Spring of Hope for Tanzania was circulated. E for Zambia and Malawi, Voice of Malawi and Voice of Zambia Quarterly e-magazine was published. Media pitch and coverage DMI Africa mission programs were pitched in print and electronic media. The media pitch helped in strengthening our network 
in collaboration with government and like-minded organizations definitely enhanced our visibility and created the platform to replicate the best practices